Welcome to part one of two on our Google Slides 101 course. Today we'll be talking about how to open Google Slides from our Chrome browser or our Gmail page, as well as how to use some basic functions and formatting within Google Slides. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to locate and utilize many functions within Google Slides to help you create your own slides presentations. Um, so first, what uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Google Chrome and it opens to my Gmail. Um, now if you do not have Gmail, um, I would get the um, go to um, the Google Slides page or the Chrome page and you should be able to download uh, Google Slides that way. Um, however, uh, this is the way that I always uh, enter it and this is the way my um, computer set up. So uh, if you're in your Gmail, you should be able to click on um, this little button here, it opens up all of your Google applications. Um, you should see slides, it's this yellow uh, icon. Go ahead and click on it. Uh, it opens you uh, to the Google Slides app. Um, you can see here that uh, we have um, slides I've created down here, as well as a template gallery. Now if you want to um, look for the template gallery, click that button, and you'll see that Google Slides has a lot of templates uh, for personal, work, education, um, that you can go ahead, utilize, um, put your own information, and it still looks very professional. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to start out with a blank slide. That's how I prefer to design all of my slides. Um, but until you get to that comfortable level, you can always use templates. Um, and these themes are, will pop up if you hit blank template um, to further look at different ways um, to add different things. But for our use today, we're not going to use them. So I'm going to click out of that to give me more space to work. Um, I'm also going to where it says click to add user speaker notes. I'm going to condense that again, giving us more room. Uh, at this time, I'm not going to add speaker notes. Um, so you can hit view, show speaker notes click that off so you get more room to to design here again I usually um, don't use this it, it functions like um, PowerPoint does if you're familiar with that but again I just kind of like to add my own stuff to it um, so you can see up here it's uh, it pretty much looks like Microsoft PowerPoint uh, and they did that so you can convert to using Google Slides pretty easy. Um, also note that uh, if you go to file, you can see where it says import slides. If you click on it and you already have PowerPoint presentations that you want to convert to a Google Slide, um, you're able to upload those from your computer. Um, you just select file com your computer. I don't have any of those, so um, but just know that that's something that's available to you. Um, so usually first I like to title my presentation. We'll go ahead and title it Google Slides 101. Just hit enter. And that, um, the good thing about using Google applications is it automatically saves. So if your power goes out, um, your computer falls off your desk, anything that you can think of, it's going to automatically save. So you can always um, see that. Another good thing about automatically saving is it's going to save your versions. And so um, once we go into this, I'll show you exactly how that works. But up here, you can go back to different versions, go back to um, maybe you did something one day and you decided you didn't want anything that you did that day to it uh, and you want to revert back. Uh, it'll allow you to do that. So I think that's pretty neat. Um, so first, uh, I'm going to talk about background. Um, so say you didn't want a plain white background, you just want a different color, you can go here to the background button. Um, you have color, image, or reset to theme. I'm just going to reset it to the, what you had at the very beginning. Um, color, you can do solid or gradient. Uh, where you kind of have like a little subverse here. I'm a more solid person. Um, I'm just going to go gray uh, for today. So you can see I've reset my background. And because you set that as a background, anytime you add another slide, um, it only lasts for that slide since you're not really working with masters. Again, this is just Google Slides 101. We're just covering basics today, so I'm not really going to talk about master slides. Um, that's more of a Google Slides 102 
um, if you will. So I just have uh, my slide here. So if you wanted to add text, here's your text box tool. You can go ahead, click on it, and then you're going to click and drag. Um, type in today, we'll do um, what are volcanoes. So what are volcanoes? Of course, I can't spell correctly today. What are volcanoes? Um, so that's kind of boring. So what I like to do is you can mess with my font, um, depending on how you feel that day. Here's your font size. Again, very similar um, to Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, your bold italic and underline as well as text color if you want to change text color uh, to make it pop a little bit. Um, you also have the option to do word art within slides so if you want to go insert you can hit word art. Um, you can type it in that way what are volcanoes. Hit enter and I'll enter that. Again you can kind of um, use this like regular this has a little bit more ability to format you can see that there's outlines on this one um, so let's say we'll do that make it bold and we're going to change the color similar to this one you can see the difference um, so you can see how this one looks a little bit different than this one just because we have the outlines it makes it pop a little bit more so I'm going to go ahead and click on this click on the box that way I can just delete the whole thing I'm going to go ahead click and drag that up here. Uh, I like to use drag and then use my arrow buttons to make sure it's in the right spot. Um, the cool thing about Google Slides is when you insert an image, so say I want to insert an image, I want to make this um, visually appealing. So I want to insert an image. The cool thing about this one is you can upload an image from your computer, but if you don't want to use that storage and that time-consuming process of saving it to your computer and then um, putting it in your slide, you have lots of options. You can take a snapshot um, if you wanted to include a picture of yourself for some reason. Um, if you have a URL that you know that the picture is on, you can type, go ahead and type that one in here. Um, you can use from your albums from your computer your Google Drive account, maybe saved it to the Google Drive, uh, or you have this really cool search. Um, so within search, it's going to find um, pictures that are labeled for commercial reuse with modification, meaning that you have permission to use these. These are things um, that are not going to be copyrighted, so you're not going to break any copyright laws. Um, so you can use Google, Life, or Stock Images. Um, so let's just say I wanted to do volcano. Um, let's just do volcano cross section because I want to show the different parts of the volcano. So here, I think I like this one. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. You can see that it was found by Google Image Search on this page. So it's going to cite that within. Uh, and link to it whenever I insert it. So once I insert it, it'll pop up here, and um, I'm going to resize it a little bit so it fits. I'll stick this under here. All right, so easy peasy. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I want to um, use this as a diagram. So we have different things available to us up here. We have image, so if you didn't want to go insert image, there's a little shortcut there. If you, instead of going to insert shape um, over here, see where that shape, you can go ahead and easily click that here. Shapes, arrows, if you want arrows. Um, and then you have line, arrow, uh, different types of lines, even freehand scribbling. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use, uh, let's go arrow. And so again, click and drag like you would normally um, do one here. Now, say you don't like that, you can't, you can barely see that. So if you want it to adjust the thickness um, or the color, you can do line color. Line weight is the thickness. I want to make sure that my students can see it. I want to make sure that it's in black, making sure it stands out really well. So you can see how different that is. 
Um, so each time you're going to have to re-click arrow, it's not just going to stay on the arrow, uh, it'll, it'll go back to a cursor. So you're going to have to click that arrow again and um, make sure you're pointing the right spots here. Oops. Make sure if you're doing arrow, you draw to the place that you're wanting the arrow to go to. Again, making sure it's black. Um, now I don't really want an arrow, I want a line because I want to show that this, oops, that this section is going, is labeled as something. All right. And one more arrow, I think. Uh, you could also, if you already have an arrow drawn, you could always um, copy it, Command C, and then paste Command V uh, if you're not familiar with those shortcuts. You can drag it. And then again, I wanted to put text labeling these, so on and so forth. So you see how. Um, we can label these. You can make it a different color to make it stand out. Um, let's see, I'm going to make it, um, let's make it white and bold. Just make it stand out a little bit. Make my text box a little bit bigger. Um, so you can move it around as you need, as you need to. Um, also you could put more text on there, try and explain what the definition um, of a volcano is if you wanted to make it stand out you could put a, a box around it you could highlight it so text color is going to be here highlight is going to be here um, if you wanted to do it that way that way it stands out a little bit um, to add another um, slide you can either go here if you want the same type of slide which was just the title slide if you wanted a different layout say you wanted just to, um, to add a title or click to add text, anything, you can do it that way. Um, another way that I find I like just so it copies the background, again, if you click the slide, Command C and then Command V, it's going to copy the slide. I can just delete some of the things that I don't want. To delete multiple things uh, at the same time, you can uh, drag a box just your cursor. It'll highlight those. And again, if you just want to change that, um, word art would be here. Uh, what are volcanoes? Uh, why do volcanoes erupt? Um, so another cool thing is you insert, you can insert a video. Um, so it takes you directly to YouTube, and you can go ahead and ask a question or search for um, whatever you want your YouTube video for. So this one, there's one I use here. You can preview it before you put it in. So here. So I know I like that one, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. And it's going to go ahead and put it in there. So it'll automatically play. It won't take me to an, another YouTube um, page. It stays in. It'll play within the Google Slides, which is another cool thing. Um, a lot of times PowerPoint, you're, that takes a lot of processes to um, get to that um, point. Um, if you want transition slides, here's um, where you would do that. If you want um, a transition, you can do a fade into the slide. Um, how fast and you can um, see what that would look like. Those fades, um, you can make it slower if you'd like. Um, that's just really up to you. Um, but I think that um, using these um, very basic tools will help you um, be able to manipulate your Google Slides. Thank you and tune in for part two.